So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys just wanted the theme song shortened. So here we go. The Squirrel Reviews, movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady Gamer Review, or, or Martha Butler, does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use, educational for education and entertainment purpose. Okay, hi everybody, Martha here. So, I finished the first story of this one, the pep cover, and so far, 42 me reviewing it before we read the la last page to you guys. Um, if the other two stories in here might represent this cover better, <laughs> so far, the first one did, didn't represent it. I mean, yes, there was a puppet in it, in this, but not, the other two weren't represented, I'm pretty sure, like, one of them was, but not the other two, but okay, whatever, I just think this cover was, was um, misrepresented to us, like, we thought this would be, like, when I look at this cover, what do you think this cover reminds you of? It reminds me of definitely something from Goosebumps. It reminds me of Slappy from Goosebumps. Because that's what that's what basically he is, is these guys. But we didn't get that here. Um which is okay, I guess. We don't need another um puppet out there like Slappy to um try to freak us out. <laughs> but we'll see. Um let me read so I usually do. Spoilers ahead. I want to read the last page to you guys. Let me see if it's long enough. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, read. Let me see. Okay. So, Potter, uh, Porter, I think it's P Porter, um, said that he didn't have to hear the heart to do it himself. The heart to do it himself. Sage what had promised that he would make, would take care of it. Sage wrestled with the machine trying to figure out the best way to get outside the dumpster. As he chugged it out, he, he had become aware of the slight lobbing sound. There was there, and there was a smell, a rotting, blushing smell that made him gasp. It seems like it was coming from the bottom of the machine. Maybe a rat had crawled in there and died or something. Sage bent and um, kneeled in front of the puppet carver so he could reach the dresser's bottom and that served uh, repaired from the waste of the generation generator generation during the carving processing process. Here we go, he muttered as he prepared to for the source of the smell. He pulled out of the he, he pulled from the cupboard up from the cupboard and the smell was so strong he that his nose was rafficent it. It the sign that even the worst that than the smell. A slight pink and chundered uh, management clothes organs. Was that kidney or a piece of liver? Not the organs of a rat, but much larger creature. A human size. Sage had no idea what could have happened here. But it was more reason to get rid of this whole thing to the dumpster as fast as possible. Dude called the cops. Holding the his breath in the dumpster's contact to the dresser and the garbage bag. 
<laughs> get gloves on and land for the wet slime. Slob, you froze the bag into the dumpster and walked away, ready for his days at um, the pizza party ground behind him. Luck! Yep, definitely that last page is disgusting and definitely um, Sage did not take the right um, the nudge of the right thing here. He should have called the cops, let them handle it, and then maybe they would have found out what probably happened here. So, let's go back to the beginning of this story. And, um, basically, if any of you guys have ever read, um, The Christmas Carol, basically Jack here is Ebenezer Scrooge here. And these characters here, um, Parter, Sage, and, um, and, um, Ethan, I think the other character's name is, um, are basically, I would say, is Bob Cratchit, or, um, the ones that, um, also work there, they're in the background, the other two characters, but, anyway, um, me, so, Jack has, um, is, has a wife named Angie, and Angie, um, doesn't know how much financial of, um, danger her husband's in here. Basically, he owns this pl owns a pizza place that's a lot like Friday Nights at Freddy's, it's a lot like Freddy's Fazbear, so it's called, um, Pizza Playground, so, and, um, Jack's not very good at, um, coming up with, um, like, business stuff in order to get more customers. Right now, his business is failing. He doesn't have much money right now. And recently, he might be miserable because, um, his son Tyson recently gone to college. And so he might be, um, going for depression because he's taking a lot of his, um, stress about, about the fact that the factory, about the fact that his restaurant is not making well and sells and his wife wants to buy more stuff to like deal with her fact that she wanted to her son too and so yeah and he every time like somebody asks him to do something instead of like saying no we can't do this right now I can't afford to he explodes upon them and basically yells about it and he also he, yells at his employees too and um here and basically so one night um while he's in the restaurant alone um after we like um he hears sage like come as read as writing a book that's called um Weirdly, the puppet carver went about that book that he that um, Sage is writing about is about a puppet named Sylvester, which I'm pretty sure it's this one. These two we don't see in the book, so and um, basically um, Sylvester is a lot like um, Pinocchio, where he wants to be real, like he can smell, but he he can smell and he can like laugh and stuff like that, but he cannot touch stuff. He, he, well, he can't touch stuff, but when he touches something, like, um, he touches a cat, touches an animal, touches that cat, I think, and he can't, but he can't feel the softness of the cat's fur, like I do, um, when I touch, um, Solly here. I can, like, Solly, I can feel, um, how soft his fur is, and how much I enjoy petting him from because much I love him. Now, um, Sylvester, which is weird, um, the cat, um, a, a puppet petting a cat, a petting a cat, when there's a cat named Sylvester, but, but he can't feel it, like I can. So, um, he asks, um, a fixer, like, have you guys ever seen the, um, the movie, um, by Uncle Man that has Rob Williams in it? He kind of, he also is going for the same exact thing where he wants to feel more human, like, for the same reason, for somewhat the same reasons. And he, just like Sylvester here, goes to, um, 
fixer guy to make him like to make it have more human like qualities and he ends up feeling a penny a dog after this and he ends up enjoying the pet just like any of us do when we pet our animals pet our pets and eventually he ends up like having like, a good daughter at the very end and he like feels fulfilled from life because um, now he knows what it's like to um, feel stuff and basically I'm not sure about this but the story inside the story um, it's kind of like a metaphor what happens to Jack here because eventually Jack after he has this I guess um, almost mid almost two decks um, experience like he ends up going to um the back after here likes two ticking sounds because um eventually was Sage was trying to make an invention um for her one of her school projects and um here he hears um a ticking sound from it and he gets inside of it and I guess the school project almost kills him and he um gets out of there but right after that he wants to apologize to everybody he has done wrong just like Ebenezer Scrooge does after those three ghosts um visit him it, it, even mes it even mentions that um in this book that he had some like he feels like Ebenezer Scrooge right after that um and he um earlier he insulted a girl that um like served him food from a restaurant and he went, he goes back to the restaurant just to apologize to the girl because technically it was um like the girl's first day at work so she was like nervous when you like in your first day at work you make mistakes and she like um forgot to put like bacon inside of his um hamburger and she, he like explode about her about not putting bacon inside the hamburger and um so he apologizes for that and um Ian, even though he was holding up a bunch of people in the drive-thru, because he did this for the drive-thru. And he goes to his wife and explains to his wife, um, after that, but, um, he was trying to, like, buy donuts for his wife and his son, maybe. But on the way home after this, um, like, some weird green goo, pink goo attacks him and maybe, kill, maybe kills him and trade places with him, which, if you guys remember, um, the third story in this one, the, in the, um, the cliffs, which was called Tell Me Everything, and so apparently the goo, the, the, in this one, returns. That one that, um, took over, um, what that, was that character's name? Chris. What took over Chris is, um, bought, that took over, um, took over, try, um, killed Chris basically and came the new Chris. So basically maybe the, the same exact thing that happened to Chris in the third book, the third story, is happening to Jack here and could become the new Jack. And because um, after this he like apologizes to his wife Angie and explains to him, um, I am having financial problems and that's might be why I exploded upon you and not, but I could have, I probably shouldn't have exploded upon you. I just probably could have told you I don't have the money right now to pay, to, um, buy you all this stuff. And, um, she apologizes to him too and she, um, decides to go and get a job herself. And the next day, apparently she, the next day, um, and, and before this, um, his son Tyson told him, he was in a car accident, and he, instead of, um, getting mad at him for ruining the car, he is just saying, I'm, I'm happy you're okay, and, and acting like a, a concerned father here. And, so the next day, he, apparently he, um, um, before this, fired his, um, workers, and he came in and, um, hired them back, and, um, came with a new idea to, um, in order to, uh, attract customers is having like ten, having like five ten dollar um offer like if you like buy a pizza you have like buy like a meal for like ten dollars you get a bunch of tickets for free basically and um 
a lot of families like that and um he got, he did a um a good day here and um everybody was able to keep track the animatronics were working and stuff like that and he um and or and instead of just letting his his um co as um employees go home and go back to studying for college, um he buys them um Chinese food and lets them study uh, and then lets them study that way. And then this is when Sage um, finishes her her book and then she like looks at her um her school project and then she starts smelling something in, in it, like, right there, and she thinks it is first as a rat, but it's, um, we find out that it's not a rat, it's probably a human, and it's probably Jack, um, dead. Not cool, not cool, and yet, instead of calling the cops and letting them figure out, maybe somebody died here, um, she gets concerned of the evidence. Like she's maybe she's afraid of that the fact that it's her um, machine that did this. <coughs> she doesn't want to get accused of murder. I don't know. Maybe uh, no. He doesn't want to get accused of murder. I think she. He doesn't want to get accused of murder. Um. Anyway, so this one it was kind of weird. Um. I mean, I like the one thing that happened with um the story in the middle, the sto like the story in the story and like that one. <coughs> Even though it wasn't that, it wasn't that long of it, but this, I didn't like Jack to be any, anyway, but I didn't want him to get killed. I just want him to, um, realize what he was doing was wrong. And that's what I wish did happen. We don't, we don't know if that body is Jack still. This is just a theory. And maybe it is, like, who else body could it be? Huh? Who else could body could it be? But, yeah. And it's just, this one was weird and more than scary. Um, and, and, and hopefully the next two books will actually have more um, representation of puppets. Because this story did have a puppet in it. But it wasn't the bad thing. It was the goo! <laughs> okay? Okay? Not the puppet. N not not these um these uh, um uh these um what besides puppets these dummies or whatever or whatever these things weren't the bad guys they were just in the story so yeah so I'll see I'm gonna give this one a um it was miss miss shot so I still somewhat liked it so I'm gonna give it um a six out a six out of ten. Hopefully the next two stories, which are um the next one after this one is called Jump for the Tickets. Maybe that one will be better. Okay? So what do you what do you give it, Sully? I give it over I give it three pies. So bye bye guys. Bye bye